I'm done playing for season 12. Uh, I'm at 1100 LP and have enough decay games bank for the rest of the season. So, and the challenger cutoff is almost definitely not um, going to go this high. So, I'm pretty sure I'm ending challenger. Um, and honestly, I feel like I played a lot of games this season and didn't get much out of it. Uh, although the meta was great, really fun, really balanced, especially after the durability patch, it was probably the most balanced League has ever been. Um, it didn't change a whole lot. It didn't feel like I was playing anything new or learning any really fundamental, important new things, um, which is also why I haven't done any League videos. I feel like I haven't had anything really new and significant that I've learned to like say about the game. Um, I do have something in mind that I might do this winter and show later, but yeah. Um, that said, the games do get way more intense and fun towards the end of the season. Um, I wasn't even sure I would stay Challenger, as like the last few months um, get harder to play as better people play. Um, but also, I feel like maybe I could have skipped a lot of the season and just played the last few months, because uh, they're always sort of the best part of the season, but oh well. Um, so before the final like end of season grind, I like looked at the games that I was losing. And I was like, okay, uh, I can't really lose bot and expect to climb. So can't get hit by autos for free when my AD carry isn't like in a position to trade back in return. Um, can't get as Sona caught by like any CC ever. Basically, it's like never good. And can't die to their jungler. Um, and ganks and also I think something that happened a lot would be like. We would go for a gank, it wouldn't work, but then I would overextend and uh, die like 3v3 to their jungler. Um, but yeah, so every game that I lost that was not like a literal win trade or a grief, uh, one of those happened each at the end of the season, but it's fine. Um, uh, every sort of close game that I lost, I think I got caught in like a bad trade or a gank that led to like messing up the game. And of course, in all these losses, I at least believe other people on my team underperformed harder than I did. But obviously, of course, to climb, you have to fix your own performance. So, um, Also later in the game, uh, not walking into fog or getting caught by people not showing on the map, um, just getting engaged on uh, when walking to fights, like being distracted by a teammate fighting and then, or like a dragon spawning and, and not paying attention like while walking through a bush or something. Um, and also, not fighting dragon is something I think I really need to work on that's annoying, because sometimes top laners just like unilaterally decide that the, the gromp is more important, or that we can't fight dragon, or they can just teleport to the fight or something, so they don't need to go to dragon. Um, which really annoys me if I have like Moonstone or Shrelia's or whatever, and I'm strong, and the top laner is just like, no, I'm not going to fight dragon. But if they do that... Um, uh, you just you can't fight it so it is what it is um, but again all these things are just like very little things to improve on they're not like huge interesting uh, things that would make the season more interesting to play or like a video about um, and then lastly on streaming I have actually considered talking on stream or at least reading and writing messages in the chat um, and I actually do read the chat messages when I go back and watch the VOD but um, if I did that, uh, like talking, it would be on the Smurf next season if I was really bored. Um, because the point of streaming the games for me this season was so I could more easily watch replays, as well as make it easy for other people to watch, um, but not in a way that takes attention or effort from me.